Hey guys, it's Carl here, and this is my review of the Samsung Galaxy Tab 4 8-inch tablet. This is Samsung's latest entry-level tablet variant and the successor to the ever-so-popular Tab 3 model from last year. It retails for $240, comes complete with an 8-inch screen that's 1280 by 800 has a 1.2 GHz quad-core processor with a 4450 milliamp battery. Build quality wise, the entire device is made out of plastic. On the front, we have the three main buttons, two being capacitive and the middle button being the physical home button. On the right hand side, we have pretty much everything else, the on and off button slash sleep button, the volume rocker as well as an IR blaster, and lastly, the micro SD card slot for expandable memory. As this device comes with only 16 gigs, you might need to take full advantage of that. The bottom houses a micro USB port for charging, and on the top, we have the three and a half millimeter headphone jack. The back of the Tab 4 is made out of a hard touch plastic. It's available in two different colors, white as well as black. It's not as cheap feeling and fingerprint prone as say last year's Tab 3 or the Samsung Galaxy S4, but it doesn't feel as rich or premium in your hands as the faux leather finishes found on the Pro Series tablet model lineup or even the Galaxy Note 3. The Tab 4 has two separate cameras, the first being a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera, whereas the back has a 3 megapixel shooter that's capable of full HD 1080p playback and HD recording. Here's a few sample shots as well as video footage, but don't expect anything too crazy. And this is the rear camera on the Samsung Tab 4 8 inch model. We're just outside taking a quick pan shot. Don't expect anything too crazy. This is just to get a quick snapshot if you happen to just have your tablet on your hands. Performance wise, as I mentioned, it has a 1.2 GHz quad core processor. I ran some benchmarks compared to the Samsung Galaxy S5 and the S5 almost triples its score. But when you use the Tab 4 on a day to day basis, you should have a relatively pleasant experience. It won't be the quickest or snappiest feeling tablet that you've ever used. However, it should handle most of the daily tasks that you end up throwing at it. It runs KitKat 4.4.2 out of the box and has Samsung's patented TouchWiz skin over top. They're making big improvements on TouchWiz, however I still prefer the feel and look of stock Android. Day to day functions the Tab 4 performs without any problems, whether you're switching in between apps, looking at social media, checking your emails, or even watching videos off of YouTube. Multitasking also extremely simple. Pressing the first capacitive button, just swipe up to fully close an app or scroll between and select to switch apps. But if any of you guys own a Galaxy Tab 4, let me know what your experiences are like in the comments down below. And as for gaming, I did a full independent gaming review of both the Samsung Galaxy Tab 4 7 inch as well as 8 inch models. I will leave that down below in the description. But to sum that video up, most games and apps that you throw at the Tab 4, it should be able to handle without any problems. Once you start to get into more graphic intensive games and 3D games, that's when the Tab 4 will start to slow down and you'll definitely notice a decrease in performance. In the end, it comes down to what size tablet you actually prefer. Here I have the 8 inch as well as 7 inch Galaxy Tab 4s, as well as the latest Samsung Galaxy S5 for a quick little size comparison. Out of the Tab 4 models, I preferred the feel of the 8-inch model, but stay tuned to my channel as I'll have my full review of the 7-inch variant out as well. And that pretty much wraps up my review of the Samsung Tab 4 8-inch model. I think this is a huge improvement over last year's Tab 3 version, but if you guys have a little bit of extra money lying around, do check out the Samsung Tab Pro series models. I think those are the best Samsung tablets that I've used to date, and they're worth the little extra investment. On a side note though, everything else that you throw at your Tab 4, it should be able to handle, whether that's checking your emails, browsing the net, or going through a few basic apps. Once you get into the more 3D and graphic intensive gaming, you might notice a little lag or stutter in frame rate, but other than that, this performed pretty well for the price point. If you guys already have it, please do hit that subscribe button as it does help me out a bunch. And if you like this video, hit that little thumbs up down below as well. And of course, I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace.